I'm 61, woman, and I have two children, 41 male and 39 woman. My children are going through a little spat right now over money my son loaned my daughter over 10 years ago. It's really tearing my family apart right now, and I just want to see what people have to say. My son gave my daughter $20,000 to start a business 10 years ago, and I was happy when he did it because it was unexpected and nice. Now, here's where the problem occurs. She never started the business, and now every Thanksgiving my son asks my daughter is she going to pay him back, and it's getting annoying because people want to eat. My daughter complains about it saying she'll pay him back, then drops it. My daughter's fiancé says she's tired of the harassing over the money. My daughter had a bachelorette party, and everything was going swell, and we ordered dancers, ate cheesecake, and just had fun. She woke up because we heard knocking, and it was a guy saying you've been served. My son is suing my daughter over the money. I called my son and called him a disappointment. My son said, look here, it's been 10 years. If she's not trying to pay back, then I'm taking her skinny butt to court. I'm torn. Am I the a-hole? You're the a-hole. Your daughter takes advantage of your son and he's the disappointment? I can feel who the favorite is. I bet he can too. You're the a-hole. So your son gave her $20,000. That's with four zeros, right? So your daughter could start a business, which she didn't, and still hasn't paid him back the $20,000? But he's the disappointment. On the off chance this is real, you're the a-hole. She used false pretenses to gain money from your son, her brother. She lied plain and simple. If she had any intention of paying him back, she doesn't. She would have paid something by now. Good on him for reminding her and then suing her. You should, again if this is legit, be siding with your son, not your thief of a daughter. Background My sister C and I are not the closest sisters. She has two children and I have three. My husband and I started dating in high school and got married after graduating from college. C traveled Europe after college and met the son of a very wealthy man while there. They married two years later, and from what I have gathered, both of them are now considered wealthy independent of her father-in-law. As a family, they do a lot more than anyone else can afford, and while they don't rub it in our faces, it's very hard not to notice the differences in lifestyle. It was recently my eldest son's 10th birthday. When inviting guests to his party, family only, he had a separate party with his friends. I included a list of items that our son had recently been asking for in order to make gift shopping a little easier for everyone. I gave my sister a different list than everyone else, with more expensive options, knowing that she could afford it, and that our son Jay would appreciate having something a little nicer. At the party, I made sure to give my son the gift from his sister's family last, so that it wouldn't overshadow any of the other gifts and everyone could get an excited reaction from Jay. When he opened the gift, it wasn't an item from the list we had given her, and instead was an item from the list given to the rest of the family. A little while after presents were opened, I asked C to step into another room with me and confronted her about her present. I asked why she hadn't gotten our son something from the list we gave her, and she told me that she had. When I stated that the list only had consoles and games on it, instead of the science kit she bought, she said that our parents had shown her the list they got when they went shopping together, and she picked from that list. I told her that we gave her a different list because we knew she could afford it, while the rest of the guests could not. She got incredibly angry saying that it was not her responsibility to get expensive entertainment for children other than her own. She also shouted at me that she and her husband wouldn't even buy those things for their children. So, and I quote, Why the hell would I buy them for yours? Before I could respond, she grabbed her husband and kids and left my home. I thought I was doing right by my kid and my guests to make sure that everything could be affordable. But now my sister won't talk to me and my son is disappointed he didn't get a gaming console. Am I the a-hole? You're the a-hole big time. Let's review. You tried to trick your sister into buying your kid an expensive present. You led your kid to expect it. Your sister did get your kid something he wanted, but spent a reasonable amount on it. Then you had the audacity to yell at her, and now your kid is disappointed that his mother's unhinged scheme didn't work. There's nothing about your actions here that are reasonable. You don't know your sister's finances, and even if you did, you don't get to tell her how to spend her money. Your kid's disappointment is all you. In what world do you think it's okay and doing right by your kid to demand something expensive from someone you don't even have a relationship with? No wonder she doesn't want a relationship with you. You're entitled as duck and you're the a-hole. 
You're the a-hole, no question. A separate list for your sister because she's rich? Wow. Just make one list and have a few items, one and two, that are higher priced. Two different lists is greedy and insulting. Your family is not entitled to her money. It also sounds like you told your son that she would get him a console because that's all you put on her list. So it had to be something good for him. What a jerk move. For context, my, female 28, fiance, male 31, proposed to me around six months ago with an 18 carat ring he inherited from his deceased mother. Mind you, we are not wealthy in the slightest. This ring has been passed down generations and is worth more than I could possibly ever wish for. Like I said, we are not wealthy at all. We live paycheck to paycheck, which is why an item this luxurious in my possession is so foreign to me. Living in the city means we are on a tight budget and try our best to stick to it. Of course, making a couple material purchases here and there, but nothing major. Recently, though, things have become increasingly expensive and our budget has been getting tighter and tighter. So, in an effort to improve our means and way of living, I decided to auction my engagement ring just to see how much it was worth. Of course, I was already aware it was worth quite a hefty sum. However, when I received an offer of nearly 15,000 pounds, I didn't hesitate to accept. I thought about how this would help with groceries, rent, bills, at least for a few months, as well as other necessities. I found a dupe of my ring online, and for what it's worth, the rings were identical. However, I left the ring on my nightstand one night while I was showering, and my fiancé noticed the chip on one side, which wasn't visible when I was wearing it, and exposed the brass underneath. He asked me about it, and I couldn't hide anymore, so I told him the truth, and he broke down in front of me. He told me that ring was one of the few reminders he had of his mother, and how he dreamt of passing it down to our children one day. I broke down in tears, and tried to explain that I did whatever I could to make sure we didn't starve this month. He told me I was a horrible person and is now sleeping at his friend's house, and he is also ignoring all my calls and texts. So, am I the a-hole for selling the ring to keep a roof over our heads in a tight financial situation? That ring wasn't yours to sell. Sure, an engagement ring is a gift, but that was a very sentimental family heirloom. You were wrong. You should have spoken to him about your concerns and found another way to get by. This is likely the end of your relationship. And after what you did to him and his family legacy, it should be. There's no coming back from this. You won't be forgiven. My heart breaks for him. You're the a-hole. You're the a-hole, no doubt. I get you were in a tight financial position, but you knew your fiancé wouldn't be supportive of the decision to sell the ring. That is why you kept it from him. You knew you were in the wrong. I cannot imagine how heartbroken he was to have found out that you sold a memory of his deceased mother. He trusted you enough to wear the ring and carry on a family tradition, and you destroyed that trust. I don't know if you can fix the relationship, but you should definitely do everything in your power to get the ring back. You're the a-hole. I get that desperate times call for desperate measures, but a general rule of thumb in otherwise healthy relationships is that if you're doing something that you really feel the need to keep secret from your partner, you're doing something wrong. You should have sat down and had an honest conversation with him about finances and the situation before selling the ring, since it was a family heirloom. I, 26 female, had been friends with a girl, 29 female, since middle school, who I'll call Jasmine. Throughout middle and high school, I dated a man, 25 male, who I will call Dakota. Now, I design my own clothing and I create bits and pieces. Nothing big, just a few shirts and a few pairs of pants. I'm not a professional, and I never claimed to be, but Jasmine came to me years ago after going through my sketchbook of dress designs. She really liked one of them, and we talked about getting it made one day when she gets married. I decided that I would create the wedding dress for her, with help from an actual seamstress. It cost me a good deal to create the dress, but I was very happy with the outcome, and Jasmine loved it. A year ago, Jasmine met Dakota at uni, and they hit it off. I won't lie when I say I was hurt. I wanted to marry him and thought we would after high school. Dakota proposed a few months back and Jasmine asked me to be her maid of honor. I said no, as I didn't want any part of the wedding. It would hurt me too much to watch her marry my dream man. She got angry and called me some terrible names and called me a bad friend and that I had to get over a high school crush. So she called my parents and tried to get them to reason with me. I didn't budge and she ended up telling our friend group, who also sided with her. 
I got so fed up with everyone trying to push me into apologizing and making amends that I told Jasmine she couldn't have the dress. Jasmine tried to get my parents to give her the dress that was made for her and had been for her for years. Well, after finding my mother trying to sneak into my attic to get it, I decided enough was enough and I burned it. My mother tried to stop me, but I was too angry. I sent a photo of the burned dress to Jasmine and wished Dakota the best of luck. Now, there's a huge uproar on her social media where they are basically forming a mob against me. I can understand how I may have gotten out of line, but it was my dress that I made and she is marrying my dream man. I still fully believe he is my soulmate. My family and friends are all turning against me. Am I the a-hole? You're the a-hole. You didn't have to give her the dress, but thinking he's your soulmate and being this hung up on your high school boyfriend this many years later is delusional and not right. I'd consider a therapist over this. Everyone sucks here. You're handling things poorly and should definitely talk to a therapist. Your ex-friend, mom, and everyone else should respect your boundaries and understand why you said no. No is a complete sentence. Unless your friend paid you for the dress, you owned it and could do whatever you wanted with it. You're the a-hole. Just because you believe he's your soulmate doesn't mean he does. Sorry, OP. You dated this man when you guys were children. Neither of them owe anything to you. Be happy for your friend. You don't have to go to the wedding, but burning the dress was outright spiteful. My, 23 female, sister, 27 female, got engaged about two years ago. I don't hate her. We were never the closest of sisters due to our age difference, but we didn't hate each other. Her fiancé, now husband, is a great man. I really am happy for them. So, fast forward to the wedding ceremony. When the priest finally said, are there any objections? I stood up and said, I object. Long pause. Because this couple is way too cute for each other. I really just said it as a joke. I thought it was something we could all laugh about at reception. But I could visibly see the color drain off my sister's face the moment I stood up. After I finished my little joke, I didn't really get any laughs. My sister looked away, pretending that she didn't care, but I knew she probably did. I sat down and the ceremony continued. At reception, I went to my sister and congratulated her, but she absolutely blew up. She told me my joke wasn't funny and that I ruined her mood, her happiness, and her special day. I was shocked. It literally wasn't even that big of a deal. I was joking, not actually objecting. I argued back with those points and she just walked away from me. This morning I woke up with tons of notifications from my family members saying I'm an a-hole for doing that. But I think everyone was just overreacting. It was truly just a joke. So am I the a-hole? You're the a-hole. Explain the joke to me. Tell me how it was so funny. Wait, you can't. Because you know you ducked up. Objections at a wedding aren't for joking times. They aren't to make jokes or be a jerk. The only time people object is if there's a valid reason cheating, aggression, something actually serious, and the wedding needs stopped. Or they want to be a jack wagon and make a mockery of the marriage in front of them. You made a mockery out of your sister's wedding and marriage, so you could be funny, except you broke your sister's heart and trust. For duck's sake, you saw the color drain from her face. That's a clear indication that she's afraid of what you may say. You could have worked the whole objection due to a couple being cute into a speech about the couple in a much sweeter way. But no, you stood in front of everyone and acted like a jerk. You're a grown adult, act like it. You don't do this stupid crap at a wedding, especially in the middle of vows. Apologize and give her and her husband space, cause you done ducked up majorly. You're the a-hole for sure. That was not a time for jokes. You do not need to get attention all of the time. Sometimes other people can have attention too. If you wanted to make a joke, save it for the speeches not at the most romantic part of the wedding. Also, four years is not a big age gap. Get over yourself. You're the a-hole. The time for that kind of joke is at the rehearsal, or even during the speeches, not in the middle of the ceremony. Now the memory of her vows will always include that moment. All you did was put the spotlight on yourself instead of keeping it focused on the bride and groom. My girlfriend and I started living together this year. I'm male 25 and she's female 24. I'm earning 25,000 pounds a year, and she was working part-time and doing her master's until she graduated this year and started a small business. 
I didn't think much of it as long as the bills were paid. We split everything half and half, as I didn't think it was fair to combine finances when she barely earned anything, just enough to cover bills and have a little left over. Lately, she hasn't had much time to go out on weekends because she's been busy. She says it's the busiest time of the year for her little shop. I said I don't care and we have to do something this weekend. I mean, Halloween, duh. After an argument, she agreed to. We got way too drunk and she fell asleep as soon as she went to bed. I was curious if her little business brought in any money because she's been buying more and more stuff lately. A new laptop, others, etc. I went on her laptop to check. I figured I had the right to know. I found her accounting files and after taxes and all expenses. She's already made over a hundred thousand pounds in profits this year. It's crazy. I had to check multiple times. I also found her bank statement, personal account, and she had tons of savings. I was really angry. I feel that she hid it from me and when she earns more, she should start contributing more. When she woke up, I spoke to her. I told her how I felt neglected and she needed to spend more time with me. She said she's trying and her business is really taking off. I said she'll have to quit because she doesn't spend time with me and makes no money so it's a waste of time. She reluctantly agreed to tell me how much money she makes to justify her not quitting. I said that's great, but she will have to quit or share her money and pay more bills because it's unfair to me to pay half when she makes much more and doesn't even share. She refused and said that's what I've been doing, but I said it's not the same. She's really angry with me and called me an a-hole and locked herself in her office. Am I really the a-hole? I only want things to be fair. You're 100% the a-hole, and she certainly realized that by now. Hopefully she dumps your butt sooner rather than later. I really hope the girlfriend sees this and realizes that entire conversation was manipulative and based on his snooping and lying, and also recognize the weird double standard which shouldn't actually require seeing this because it's ridiculous. You're the a-hole. You're the a-hole. Why are you even with her? What got me was, I don't care about her business, but we have to go out, duh. Then the stupid sense of entitlement over her money and the fact you said you have the right to snoop. My God, you're an a-hole, and I wish she kicks you out tonight. Maybe homelessness will put some sense in.